London is ablaze again after all the troubles of the weekend. Groups of youths are clashing with police in several parts of the city tonight and more buildings are on fire. It follows unrest uh, after the weekend when a man was shot dead by police. Let's get the latest cross to RT's Ivor Bennett, who's in the British capital. Ivor. Uh, evening again. Now, when I spoke to you last hour, we weren't talking about uh, what was happening in Peckham in South London because that seems to be a new development now. Uh, first of all, we've seen the trouble in the northeast earlier on, then it went down to Lewisham, now it's gone to nearby Peckham. What can you tell us? Well, as you say, another night of violence seems to be erupting here in London just since we last spoke, just in the last hour. Another area, Peckham, that was previously unscathed, ha has now been swept up in all of this and been affected in what is now widespread looting, rioting and violence in both North and South London. So the latest area to be affected is Peckham, that's in South London. Uh, the latest pictures showed a building that's been set on fire on the main high street there, huge flames coming out the side of it. Uh, the police uh, there and also in Lewisham, which was another area uh, in South London that's been affected tonight uh, with cars being set on fire there. Uh, in both areas, riot police are trying to secure the area so fire engines and the fire services can go in uh, to try and put out these flames. They haven't been able to until now because uh, it simply isn't safe to th for them to go into. What the police are doing actually, uh, it seems to be a game of cat and mouse uh, they're playing with the rioters. The helicopter pictures show them uh, charging down the main thoroughfare, both in Lewisham and Peckham, uh, and the rioters actually scattering uh, through the side streets. They then uh, regroup and charge themselves at the police, this time hurling missiles at them. And the latest pictures in Lewisham actually uh, showed the latest ground that the uh, rioters and the youths gained. That contained a parked car that was left there by an, uh, an unwitting member of the public, clearly. Uh, they smashed the windows, unceremoniously set it on fire, just like that. And so this is people's livelihoods and possessions just going up in in flames really in what is indiscriminate violence really uh, earlier today another area a previously untouched area of uh, london in these riots was uh, saw a lot of violence that's in the northeast a uh, borough called hackney uh, where police fans have been attacked that's pretty recently and that's been going on hours uh, all day really all afternoon um, and police the riot police are trying to control the area but they're having a lot of trouble uh, as the rioters uh, try and coordinate their efforts using uh, mobile phones um, and just today alone actually the police have made over 215 arrests uh, and have had to uh, bring in over 300 more police officers from uh, external units from outside of the capital city. That is just how serious uh, this situation is. And Ivor, if we just wind this back to the beginning of the weekend, it all started, didn't it, when a, a peaceful protest got out of hand. The peaceful protest was uh, over the fatal shooting by police of a gentleman called Mark Duggan, a 29-year-old. But is that what's being blamed for this ongoing trouble? Uh, well, the general consensus now from uh, police chiefs and uh, community leaders who are, con uh, who are condemning it, actually, and even the family of Mark Duggan, uh, they're saying that what we're seeing now and in the last sort of two days since the Tottenham uh, riots on Saturday night is a different level of violence and unrest. This is just kind of copycat violence that's being dubbed by the police chiefs uh, who are people from, from youths who are just jumping on the bandwagon uh, and, and using this is an excuse to go about looting and causing as much damage as possible. It's really indiscriminate uh, violence and, and uh, just people causing as much havoc as they can and they don't seem to care for people's property. They're just setting up, setting uh, buildings and houses on fire. So on Saturday night it was a peaceful process that got out of hand uh, and escalated into violence over the uh, f um, shooting of Mark Duggan. This, though, is a different, uh, different ball game altogether because uh, what was happening there in the last two nights, people were the, vi the violence was really happening uh, at night time only. This afternoon, uh, it's been very severe violence and rioting. It's been taking place in broad daylight. Uh, people are in full knowledge uh, that it's being covered by they're being uh, covered by mm. media helicopters, television helicopters, and police helicopters. But they're doing it in broad daylight uh, with disregard for being identified and that they just want to cause as much violence as possible. So it's as uh, not really on the same scale. As you're saying, I have a really disturbing events. So we've seen the pictures of your shoulder there as, as, as you were describing them. Thanks for bringing us up to date with what you know there from London.
Well, a bit earlier on, I spoke to Nathan John. He's from the Young Persons Charity Youth Enlightenment Limited. He had another idea about what this was about. He said these riots represent the level of public discontent at the government's policies in Britain right now. These riots are really coming off the back of years of communities being ignored, communities being handled incorrectly by the police. You know, the, mar the, the death of Mark Degan was, for me, a, a tipping point. It was, uh, you know, the icing on the cake. And we've seen so many different examples like this over the last few months, over the last few years, and I think people have had enough now and they're taken to the streets. The police wasn't prepared for this whatsoever. Similar incidents that have happened where other people have been um, murdered in suspicious um, circumstances nothing happened and I think they just expected this to be another time where nothing was going to happen but unfortunately mm -hmm. something has happened and it's spreading through our capital and it's going to continue to spread because there's a lot of hatred there's a lot of tension that's been building up